Hello. We extend to those of you greetings. Wherever you happen to be in this world, whether you're walking the street, you're riding your cars, you're sitting in your home just as I am, or wherever you are, if you're sitting around and you're on Facebook at this time and you happen to pass this message, don't just look at it and turn it off. For this is God's will for all of us. He wants us to hear and believe and to understand the truth. Because there is so many things that are being said about him. Things that are untrue. Things that you cannot find within his holy book that is called the Bible. And yet there are peoples all over this world and there have been those who have lived before us. And they've died believing that they were on their way to heaven because they believe something that some man or some woman has said. But not everything that you hear is always the truth. Remember Jesus, he puts it like this in John 5, 39. The Lord said, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. I want you to just take time out and to listen. And if you have any questions, please feel free and ask your questions. We believe that the Bible is right, that is our guide from earth to glory, and that one day we all shall stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And you read about it in 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that we might all give an account of all the things that we ever done in this body, whether they be good or whether they be bad. People listen. I want you to turn with me, just taking this moment, turn with me to St. Matthew, the chapter is seven, because there are people that are lined up all over this world in a religious manner. And there are so many of us, we believe that we're on our way to heaven, believing whatever it is that we believe. Remember John chapter 10, Jesus said that we cannot go in or come up some other way, because if we do, the same as a thief and a robber. In John 10 and 10, he talks about the other sheep that he had that were not of his fold. And then he said, there are others that I must bring in and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. But today in our religious world, peoples are practicing and they're believing that you can believe just about whatever you believe as long as your heart is right. But what is it that makes our heart right? It is the gospel of our God. If we do not believe God, if we do not take him at his word, then certainly we're going to be lost. Jesus said in John 5, 43, I am come to you in my father's name and you don't believe me. But if another shall come to you in his own name, him you will believe. He talks about two foundations in St. Matthew chapter seven. The Lord, he talks about a solid foundation and he talks about one that was sanded. And we must be mindful of the foundation by which we're building our faiths upon because not everything is the truth. Men are saying things to discredit God. They're saying things because their mothers and their ancestors, their grandparents and all of these people, they believe these things as being the truth. But so many times, they were taught wrong, and they were baptized wrong. You cannot be taught wrong and baptized right. Matthew 7, the same place, Jesus said a tree is known by the fruited bears. You know, a corrupt tree cannot bring forth a good fruit. Neither can a good tree bring forth a corrupt fruit. The tree is known by the fruited bears. Read St. Matthew chapter 15. Jesus talks about himself as being the vine and we being the branches. We cannot find God and serve him in all of these different so-called churches and religious groups because there are so many that disagree with God. Some say, oh, he was the son of God. Others say, oh, no, he was a good man, but he was not God's son. Some say, oh, I believe that he lived and he died but he was not able to just save man from sin. People believe that you don't even have to be baptized into Christ in order that you might be saved. They believe all kinds of things and they're yet believing. 
But in St. Matthew chapter 7, beginning at verse number 21, remember the Lord said, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. And don't you hear people saying that all the time? You hear all of these religious people that are calling upon God. People who actually believe that they're believing in the truth. That they have the truth. That they have obeyed the truth. And the Lord said, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say unto me in that day, and you need to listen at this. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Lord, we've cast out devils in your name. Lord, we've done many wonderful works in your name. And Jesus said, I will then profess unto them, depart from me. I never knew you. All of your works is of iniquity. Can you just imagine Jesus saying this to you in the day of judgment? I can imagine him saying it to me. If we do not believe the truth, we can take God at his word. Read Proverbs chapter 30 and 5. It talks about add thou not unto God's word, lest he reprove us and we be found liars. When you stand before God and I stand before him, when the Lord asks you why were you Baptist, what are you going to say? When he asks you, why were you Catholic? What are you going to say? He asks you, why were you Lutheran? Why were you Pentecostal? Why were you Muslim? Why were you Church of God in Christ? Why were you Methodist? What are you going to say? Some people sit back and they say, oh no, the Lord, he will never ask those questions. Yes, he will. Matthew 12, 36. For every idle word that a man speak, he will have to give an account thereof in the day of judgment. For by your words you shall be justified. And by your words you shall be condemned. Remember John 12, 48 when the Lord said, He that rejected me and received not my word, he had one to judge him. And the word that I spoke, the same shall judge him in the last day. So these same words that we hear often, they're going to be the basis by which God is going to judge us in the day that is called judgment. So the Lord said, not everyone that said to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Ask yourself this question. Was it the will of God that you were doing religiously? Or was it something your ancestors and others had told you and they held you to believe that it was the truth? And you never did investigate it for yourself from God's eternal book that is called the Bible. 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17. All scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. And they're profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction and instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect and thoroughly furnished throughout every good work. This is what God's word is for. It is to reprove, it is to correct us when we're wrong and anyone else and so Jesus said this word is like this it's like a person who has heard the truth and rather than obeying the truth he or she obeys something that is not right so he said he that heareth these sayings of mine I'll tell you what he's like He's like unto a man that built his house upon a solid foundation. The rains came. The wind blew. It beat upon that house and it fell not because it was found upon a rock. Those same storms are going to blow in your life. It's going to blow in your life when you stand before God at judgment. And he asks you those same questions. Why were you Baptist? Why were you Methodist? Why were you all of these things? Why weren't you just a Christian? But he that heareth these sayings of mine, the Lord said, and doeth them not, I'll tell you what he's like. He's like unto a foolish person which built his house upon the sand. The wind came. The storm blew. The rain descended. 
it beat upon that house and it fell. And great was the fall of it, the Lord said. One day your house is going to come down. He's talking about your spiritual house. One day it's going to be shaken. It's going to be destroyed. And then as the people sat around that listened to the Lord, they looked at him and they said to one another, and they asked him this question. By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? For you sound like a man that has authority. You don't talk like the scribes and the Pharisees. You see, Jesus, he got his authority from heaven. And this is why we should obey him. Rather than listening to the voices of our ancestors and others, we must obey God if heaven is our goal. So in order to come to the Lord, there is something you need to do. No, it's not going to some mourner's bench. It's not calling out and saying some sinner's prayer that some had told you to say. It's not for someone to just get all over you and around you and start praying and, you know, and God is going to accept you. It's not lying your hand upon some television or putting it on the radio or sending for some type of prayer cloth. None of these things God has ever said. But here the Lord, he tells us in order that we might come to him. We must hear his word. Romans 10, 17, remember the Bible. So then faith come by hearing. Hearing come by the word of God. If you want to be a Christian, you must hear the gospel, the good news of God, in order that you might be saved. You must believe it after hearing it, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, the Bible tells us, it is impossible to please God. He that come to God must believe that he is. And he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You must then repent of your sin. Luke 13, 3 and 5, the Lord said, I tell you no. But except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. And after repentance, we must confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is God's son. Everyone that ever came into the salvation of God, confessions had to be made. Matthew 10, 31, 32, the Lord said, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, I'll confess him, I'll confess her before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, I will deny him, I will deny her before my Father which is in heaven. We must then be baptized in water to have our sins washed away. Acts 2.38 Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission and the forgiveness of sin. We must do that. Mark 16.15.16 16, We were commanded by God. Go into all the world. Preach the gospel to every person. He who believes the gospel and is baptized shall be saved. He who believes it not he shall be damned. We must then continue to be faithful unto death. John 8, 31, 32. Then Jesus said to those Jews that believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We must then continue in his word always. Revelation 2 and 10. But be thou faithful unto death, the Lord said. And I'll give you a crown of life that faded not away. So not everyone that said unto the Lord, 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 shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. When you go and you start saying to him, Lord, I've cast out devils in your name. Lord, I prophesied in your name. Lord, I've done many wonderful works in your name. Jesus will tell you the truth. The Lord will say, depart from me. For I never knew you. All of your works is of iniquity. And that's what so many people are doing today. Don't you want to know the truth before you stand before God and he turned you around because you have obeyed something that some man have said? Why don't you obey God? Romans 16, 16 and 17. The Bible said, salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. And then he said, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine of Christ and avoid them. 
for they that are such serve not our Lord, but their own bellies. Lord, help us in this world. We give thanks in Jesus' name. If you have questions, please ask questions up on this page. We thank you for listening. Amen.